The Escape Room Starting off as a genre of video games, the puzzle escaped the digital space in the early 2000s in Japan and Hungary, and has since continued becoming more popular with over 50,000 live rooms worldwide. With a time limit that's usually an hour, players uncover physical clues and wrap their brains around riddles in order to unlock doors to additional chambers, safes containing additional clues, so that they can eventually solve the overall mission, escape the room. Although themes can range from a handcuffed and blindfolded kidnapping to a cheerful Christmas, spectators can always expect participants to showcase their out-of-the-box thinking, teamwork, and resilience in a practical way. As an avid escape room enjoyer myself, what better way to interview my prospective design team members? Quick recap on BME design teams. A group of eight biomedical engineering students fulfill a clinician's project proposal by spending a year developing a novel medical device. The team creation process starts with a leader, who picks four upperclassmen, and three freshmen join a semester later. We're currently here. So I want to design an escape room. A couple of months ago, it was my birthday and my friends surprised me with the most amazing escape room challenge they designed with six unique puzzles, a mad scientist to free, and a raging homunculus who kidnaps an innocent player. Now we know I can't top their top tier planning, but I can try my best to think of some creative ideas for a short 10 minute puzzle experience. Some limitations. Quick setup and cleanup, as we won't be able to reserve the biggest study room in the library for a long period of time. No electronics, as they can easily malfunction, and solvable in 15 minutes or less, as interviews shouldn't take up too much time. First, I need a theme. Since it's February, why not center it around Valentine's Day? Couples, chocolates, and cute cuddly creatures. I know I'm stuffed animal obsessed, but what else do I have an abundance of that I can- Oh. I mean, I guess this also doubles as a way to figure out if interviewees have Arduino experience and if that can distract the reasoning. This escape room is basically a personality test, so I might as well leave in a few more tricks. I remember the first thing I did was explore the entirety of the environment from all spots and angles, leading me to prematurely discover the USB under the table. However, my rule-abiding mentality prevented me from revealing the contents until later, as we were told not to mess with the camera system. Let's see if anyone also embraces curiosity and a bit of rebellion. Then I designed and printed the clue sheet and had two of my friends test out the first version. Originally, I was going to set up my phone on a tripod and spy on them via Zoom in another study room close by, but we immediately realized the call connection was unreliable and there were far too many red herrings for the game to be solved easily. So after confirming the changes with another friend, I was ready to open the escape room interview to brave guests. To find the location, players match the three candy bars with the cross-section pictures on the clue sheet, where the first letters of each bar points to the row labels. Then they match the popular candy brands with their associated shapes, triangle for Toblerone, circle for Reese's, and square for Ghirardelli. The location can be solved for BLC, Brody Learning Commons. To find the date, players identify the stuffed owl with a name tag on That's crazy! Given the key phrase, You can't miss me when I take flight because my colors are bold and bright. 
They matched the rainbow wires and rainbow filament, revealing the date of December 28th. No, no. February. <laughs> I was timestamping and taking notes on what each member was doing. This allowed me to discover patterns and dig deeper into their thinking processes, summarizing immediately after being given the scenario and taking notes. Rearranging the mess of objects or lining up the numbers by order. Giving commands and constant communication. sharing very unique ideas. Only one group successfully solved the puzzle without using any hints while also holding the fastest record of just around 9 minutes. So I guess I either have the most cracked friends or it's proof that a team who's worked together for months has better efficiency. At the end of each session, I had participants reflect a bit on the experience. When she said, when she realized the payday and the, the, the triangle and the payday thing, I feel like that really. Mm -hmm. When you think about it, like it's so obvious, like the yeah. back color, yeah. like it's yeah, sad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like about to eliminate by eating. Which one tastes better? Oh, no, this one's stale. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm in desperate need for the okay. Yeah. Bro. yeah. Okay. 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 Especially with like the shapes, but then I feel like by talking it out, we, we figure it out. I definitely wouldn't have been able to figure it out this quickly if it weren't for the other <laughs> two. I guess the hardest part was getting the relationship between like these numbers and like this, because we had no idea until like we, we got the other thing. Like the part that we needed to find, I think, was like the hardest part because we didn't know how to associate the objects. Yeah. I think the colors for you and also good. I would wouldn't have gotten that. Yeah. I would have been thinking about like owls. I'm like, so owls sleep in October. You two were really helpful in the start with the colors. Oh yeah. Colors. I wouldn't have figured it out. I eat too much. Without candy. you two. <laughs> I eat <laughs> far too much chocolate. Yeah, I carry it back to my sugar cause that me. <laughs> for some reason, I thought like the components like. Something. Yeah. Yeah. There are a lot of like electrical circuit yeah, things, and technical like, things, and yeah, we like, needed. I don't know if I would have like first thought about color. It was obvious the favorite was the chocolate matrix puzzle, but the stuffed animal to electronics matching was not always very straightforward. I even forgot to bring the rainbow filament to one of the interviews, and literally had to draw one on paper in the middle of the game. But it was really fun watching students overthink. I, I was thinking like these are all winter animals, you know what I mean? But they are hibernating stuff. Isn't it? Isn't it? Um, it's the Lion King. Yeah, it's the Lion King guy. Yeah. I don't know what it's called. His name was Aria, right? Mm hmm. Hey. Aria. Uh. Problem solved? So then the column would be Togura and the row is a payday. Yeah. So then it'd be B. Yeah. Yeah. Reese's is mm -hmm. a circle and H. Let's search up for 11 and celebrate their victories. Oh, <laughs> Yep, you're right. Yay! The team leaders gather nervously for draft night, where they will be choosing their members with some luck involved. By the end of the hour, the draft was complete, and I am very happy with each of the four students I selected for my team. I look forward to what we'll create together in the future.